are going to demonstrate and familiarize the different tools and different stuff for bartending. Right? So, uh, uh, I discussed on virtual class that the bartending has three parts. Right? So, the three parts of the bar, uh, we have the front bar, back bar, bar, and the bar. bar. So, those are the three parts. Now, you actually see what are the three parts. So the front part class, you have here the pro promotional. What are the tiny dress? Uh, promotional packets. So what is the what is the new offer in the bar area? So on the back bar, as you observe, there are wines or uh, different kinds of wines that is being hung or is stored on the cabinet right here right there right right here so, so those are the use of cabinet okay so under bar we have here the different tools that we are going to use during meeting and that can include now for your familiarization so bar can be class consists of different tools that is used during meeting and one of that, we're going to start here. So one of these, remember this one. This is a rubber rack. Rubber rack or mat, rubber mat. Sometimes this is used in order not to keep moving the glass while, while uh, mixing or like after the final product. Sometimes, this is not actually the drain board. Magkaiba si drain board sa rubber mat. And this is also the rubber mat, uh, the wider side part, yung para hindi mabasag kung mag-mix kayo na mahulog yung glass. So, lapat nakalagay yan dito sa under bar. So, rubber mat. Next is the chopping board. The chopping board at the knife. So, partner to kasi what we are going to use in here a chef knife, this is a chef knife, a utility chef knife, can be cut uh, during garnishing. You are going to make uh, lemon red or you have to make some decorative uh, on your cocktail. So you got to use this one. Next class is the shaker. Uh, this one, there are two types of shakers, the Boston, the bigger one, and the standard. So, the Boston is an American size. Kumbaga, basta dagto nga ni American size. Then, the shaker. The proper handling of shake, shaker class, the first time that you are going to use is to hold this one. The two fingers above the cup. Then, because this is full of ice, you have the mixture. Then, shake this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Tapos left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then throw it in your back. Then touch back. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, pabalik balik lang yun. So, so that is mixing. So, dalawa. Again, you have the American, American or Boston type. And the other one is the standard cocktail mixer. Next is the pitcher. So, aluminum pitcher is used to transfer liquid or wines or juices. While you mix, then you transfer to another bottle. So you use pitcher. Oh, this is also one of the shaker. If the cup is being removed from the shaker, this cup will serve as a mixing glass. Okay? Pag tanggalin yung takip, may iimuhiya ng mixing glass. Pagkasama yung takip, cocktail shaker. Okay? Kung wala kang strainer, like this, this is a strainer. Sinistrain mo. Ginaganon mo yung minimix mo, tapos nilalagay dyan sa baso. No? So, ang tawag dito, strainer. Okay? Tapos nilalagay sa cup, then cut, stop, kuwan. After you shake. So, hindi siya magkakagawa sa ice kaya may dami yan, strainer. But, in case, an option, kung contingency plan ang iisipin, kung walang shaker, pwede gumamit ito. So, you, you remove the small cup here, then put it there, then you pour. This also serves as straighter. Yeah? Yes, sir. Alright. So, next is the gesture. 
So, anong gamit ni Jester? Si Jester, tulad ng limon, uh, tinatanggalan natin ng balat or ginigis-gis natin yung balat para makuha yung amoy na hinahalo para mm, it adds aroma to your cocktail. So, you use Jester. To zip the limon or fruit. Any fruit. This one, class, is the so-called so sometimes this is are uh, in many groups it is called as waiter's best friend or waiter's friend because lagi mo sa kasama sa sa anta so so it is uh, the fourth crew has many parts we have here the knife the lever you have the tamang the lever then we have the can opener this one is can opener Interior and the work. Yung, yung iikot-ikot na para matanggal doon sa loob. Yung magpipilitrate sa cork para matanggal yung cork sa bako. So this is cork screw. That is the jigger. So, when you see jigger, so make sure the accurate measurement of the wine to be mixed. So kailangan, alam mo, that jigger has two parts. The bigger part has 30 ml and the smaller part has 15 ml. So again, ang gamit niya is to measure and accurate measurement of the wine. Alright. Next is the ice pick. Saan ginagamit si ice pick? Hindi yung sa sinagakas sa likod ng plastic nyo ha. Ice pick used to break the ice to break, not to crack. Kasi if you're going to use a cracked ice, we gotta use ice crackers. Pero kung i-break lang ang ice into pieces, you use ice pick. Ice pick is used to break the ice. Right? Break the ice. Next is the bar spoon. So bar spoon, or for cocktail, cocktail mix, used to stir. So there, okay, guys. Next is ice scooper. Of course, to scoop amount of ice. Your so ice cube, ice cube or ice crust. Pwede dito. This one, ice scooper. Next is the so-called wine stopper or pourer. So at tawag nito ay wine stopper or pourer. Nilalagay ito siya sa dito sa bibig ng wine para makontrol ang pour ng wine. Again, the use of pourer is to control the flow of the wine. Yung pagpo-pour mo, hindi siya matatapsik. So, you gotta use, what is this? Pourer. So, may ano nito, may plastic na pourer. Okay? So, to control the flow of the wine. So, that, the tools, most common tools that we're gonna use during mixing. The other one is ice tong. The ice tong is used to pick the ice. Then, we have also here ice bucket. Ice bucket used to store the ice. Class, as I have you observed, there are two kinds of bar spoon. This is used to steal. But this is the bar spoon that has two parts. We have the spoon and we have the fork. You, have, you observe that there is a twisted wire. So the twisted wire or the twisted bar is used to control the cocktail mix if you gonna make a rainbow cocktail. So yung paglilayer ng iba-ibang kulay. So we gonna use this bar spoon. So again, this is the bar spoon. We have the spoon, we have the fork. The spoon used to stir. The fork used to pick 